Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. I'm outside again and it's a little windy today but it's still a beautiful sunny day. So I decided to read The Little Mouse and the Big Red Apple by A.H. Benjamin and Gwyneth Williamson. And this is just a fun, silly book that I really hope you enjoy and let's get reading. Little Mouse and the Big Red Apple by A.H. Benjamin and Gwyneth Williamson. Mouse was feeling hungry one day when all of a sudden he came across a big red juicy apple. Just what I want, he cried. I'll take it home with me and have a feast. Mouse set off towards his little house, rolling the apple over and over. He couldn't wait to get his teeth into the big red juicy apple. Yum, yum, he thought, when all of a sudden... The apple rolled into a pond. Oh no, wailed Mouse. What am I going to do now? Not to worry, said Frog, popping his head out of the water. I'll help you. Frog kicked the apple hard with his strong back legs. It flew out of the water and... Bump! Landed on the ground. There you are, said Frog. He licked his lips and stared at the apple. Er, thanks, said Mouse, as he began to roll it along the path. He did not want to share his apple with Frog. Mouse went on his way, thinking of the lovely apple dinner he would have later. His mouth was already watering when... The big red juicy apple fell into a thorn bush. Silly me, muttered Mouse, as he tried to rescue his dinner. Ouch, that hurt, he cried. Those prickles are nasty. I see you have a problem, said Tortoise, moving next to Mouse. Leave it to me. Tortoise didn't have to worry about the sharp prickles. He had his shell to protect him. Without any trouble at all, Tortoise crept under the thorn bush and brought out the big red juicy apple. Problem solved, he said, stroking the apple longingly. I'm ever so grateful, said Mouse in a hurried voice, and he was off again. He did not want to share his apple with Tortoise. I'll soon be home and biting into that big red juicy apple, thought Mouse, when... The apple rolled into a log. That's all I need, sighed Mouse when he saw that the log blocked his path. How do I get around that? Easy, said Mole, popping out of a nearby hole. I'll dig you a tunnel. And she did. She dug a tunnel that went right under the log. It was just wide enough for Mouse and the apple to go through it. Always glad to help, said Mole, sniffing at the big red juicy apple with her little nose. It's very kind of you, said Mouse, and he went on his way as fast as he could. He did not want to share the apple with Mole. He rolled the apple over and over until... He came to a steep hill. His house was at the very top. Push, push, heave, heave, went Mouse, grunting and groaning. Up, up, up he went until he reached the very top. At last, sighed Mouse happily, oh, for that lovely apple meal. But as the mouse let go, the apple wobbled and then it started to roll down the other side of the hill. It rolled faster and faster, further and further, until... It came to a stop at the bottom of the hill. Mouse could see it lying there, like a big red jewel. 
Oh no, he cried. I'll have to start all over again. Mouse scrabbled down the hill on his little tired feet. Faster and faster he ran. But when he reached the bottom, he found Frog, Mole, and Tortoise had all got there first. How kind of you to send that apple all the way back to us, called out Mole, chomping away on a piece of it. Mouse gave a big, big sigh. <sighs> Don't mention it, he said. Isn't that what friends are for? And there they are, all sharing the apple that they helped Mouse get all together. The end. There he is. So it turns out the mouse did get his apple with a little help of his friends and they got their share too. I hope you all enjoyed reading this book and reading along with me. I really hope you all have enjoyed reading along with me and I hope that you continue to read on your own as well and have fun with it. Thanks so much for watching.